Imagine you're walking down the street, cell phone in your pocket. You pull it out to make a call. You have to confirm a doctor's appointment for tomorrow. But the call doesn't go through. You try again, but it drops. You'll have to try again later. An SUV with tinted windows drives by. You don't really pay it any mind. You duck into your psychiatrist's office for a session. It's a little embarrassing, so you hope nobody noticed you go in. Just a normal day? Maybe not. Unbeknownst to you, your phone's been ensnared by a powerful government surveillance device called a Stingray. It was in the back of that SUV that drove by. The Stingray masquerades as a cell phone tower, forcing phones in the area to broadcast their unique identifying information. By homing in on those transmissions, the device can very precisely locate phones, including inside of homes, purses, vehicles, and even pockets. Even when police are looking for a particular suspect, Stingrays sweep in information from many bystanders' phones, conducting a dragnet search. And these devices can even force phones to drop calls by causing them to connect to a fake cell tower instead of the real cellular network. We now know of at least 66 state and local law enforcement agencies in 24 states in DC that have purchased this technology, as well as federal agencies like the FBI, the DEA, and the IRS. In cities like Sacramento, Baltimore, Milwaukee, and New York, police have used stingrays to track and locate phones in thousands of investigations in recent years. If this sounds like baseless paranoia, it's only because police departments around the country have tried to shroud their acquisition and use of stingrays in tremendous secrecy for decades. Police have intentionally concealed information about Stingray use from the public, lawmakers, and even judges. They've even failed to get the required search warrants before operating the technology. As one judge who learned of this deception recently wrote, this secrecy prevents the court from exercising its fundamental duties under the Constitution. Stingrays are just one reason why our city councils and state legislatures must enact laws that set firm rules to protect against excessive secrecy and abuse of police surveillance technologies. For stingrays and other invasive electronic surveillance, police should be required to get explicit approval from lawmakers, to fully inform judges of the privacy risks of the technology, to get search warrants, and to take steps to protect the privacy of bystanders. Otherwise, by the time we learn how much we're being spied on, it may be too late.